Renaissance is a big cultural movement that began in Italy in 1330s. It spread to England, France, Germany, the Netherlands and other countries in... in... Okay, I forget. Hello! Welcome to our video lessons. Today our topic is systematic forgetting. But what is forgetting? Forgetting refers to an apparent loss or modification of the information that has already been encoded and stored in our memory. Our saving process of memory needs three stages. The first is encoding. In this stage, the material is given to the memory. The next is storage. In the storage, the material is saved by the memory. And the last is retrieval. In this, some changes can be done to the text or material. But what is systematic forgetting? In systematic forgetting, you make mistakes unconsciously. Even though you are a professional or your English is fluent, still you are making some simple grammatical mistakes or pronunciation. Here are some most spread types of systematic forgetting. The first is transience. In transience, you forget some facts, events or situations and your memory clears it as useless information. In fact, you may need them. The next is absent-mindedness. This is actually the result of lack of concentration and attention. The next is the most spread and the biggest problem of the students, blocking. Sometimes you are sitting on the lessons, teacher asks a question, you know the answer but you cannot. The problem is you cannot remember them. And the answer is on the tip of your tongue. The next is misattribution. In this type of forgetting, you forget some parts. For example, it can be here, the person's names. For example, in my speech about the Renaissance, I couldn't, for, I couldn't remember the year. And this belongs to misattribution and blocking also because I tried to remember, but I couldn't. As t to t I want to give you some recommendations that helped me. In front of the audience, never be nervous. Calm down. The next is, do not speak very fast. When you are speaking very fast, you can forget some details. The next is, Try to be very attentive and switch on your concentration when you are learning new material. And don't forget, meaningful learned material, never forgotten. Thank you for watching. Bye!